got the old work truck here. It's time to do a little work to it. So, ever since I changed the gears, the speedometer has obviously not been correct at all. It's time to fix that. And I'm pretty sure I can do it without changing the gear in the tail shaft, the inner gear. Pretty sure I can just change the gear that goes on the speedometer cable. I do have the gears to go. The inner gears in the house. I bought those and there's only two options to buy. So I'm hoping I can just change the other one and get away with it or at least get as close as possible. Obviously while I'm doing that it's time to change the transmission fluid. Now in the last 10 years of owning this I've changed it three times. So I've been pretty well keeping up with it. Every time I use B&M trick shift. So I got everything here to do it. And I also went ahead, went a little crazy, and got this deep pan. Of course, spend aluminum. It's not polished, which is fine. I wasn't really concerned about that on the work truck. But three quart extra capacity. And it is a Summit brand, and it's actually made in the USA. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it came with little extensions and everything I need. Of course, drain plug for changing the fluid later, which I don't know why I haven't done it on this truck yet. I usually do, but considering I've changed the fluid three times already. So, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to figure out the speedometer gear first, get that correct, then I'll change the fluid because this time it's not really, it shifts hard, but it's got a shift kit. Uh, it just depends on how hard I put my foot in it, but it doesn't shift bad. It shifts when it needs to. If I'm driving normally, it's just perfect shift. So, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just time to change it. So, I'm going to crawl up under there, try to get speedometer working correctly, then move on. To so, I'm running into an issue now. Got it out. There's a gear that was in it. New gear. Old gear. Doesn't fit. I got a couple more, they don't fit. So it's just my luck, of course, that I measured this to that. Not the same. Also, see how far that's sticking out. I made that one to fit. Yeah. Not the right ones. Not even close. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. This is a 93 model transmission. 4L60, non-E, or 704, whichever you want to call it. But, it's what the gear showed up should be. I don't know. Well, unfortunately, speedometer gears are a bust. That was a lot looser than what I remember. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's how it goes sometimes, I guess. I did look up, I think it was Classic Transmission, and they had the correct ones where the gear pops off of the metal shaft so that was probably what I'm gonna have to look into because I didn't find those on Summit at all this is probably an oddball year I don't know
So here's the inside of the pan. Magnet strip. It's got a bit. That's what's there for. But the fluid, yes it is purple. It's a mix of, when the transmission was first built they used, you know, your typical fluid. It's red. Later I changed B&M. So, there's still a little red, it made it purple. Whatever, it's fine. There's not... You sure don't see the, uh, the metal shaving of this one like you did on the, uh, the GTL's transmission. Here's a couple of dents in this one. I'm not sure where they came from. That one. That one. And that one. I don't think I've... Eh, maybe that one too. I don't think I've ever hit anything. Obviously, the truck it sits higher up. So that just may have been install, rebuild, or from the previous vehicle that this came out of. Now, if you can hear me over people mowing their yards on this freaking Monday afternoon, ugh. I'm gonna add my fluids. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one, it needs to be changed anyway. Two, I want to go to a deeper pin in order to try to improve performance as well as fuel efficiency. I don't know how well it fit, affect fuel efficiency, but you know. It's worth a shot. Gotta do it anyway. I live in the south. My summers are 90 plus degrees. At 75 to 80 degrees, when I installed the external transmission cooler in line with the factory radiator cooler, it would run about 185, 75, 80 degrees. Probably run a little bit warmer in this tent these temps. So, hopefully the extra fluid will not only help it stay cool, but help it perform a lot better. Start it up. Run it through gear a couple times. Let it move around. Move it to an even solid surface. Check it. Make sure it's on the dipstick somewhere. Drive it. Let it get warm. Then finish topping it off. So, I'm going to go ahead and Obviously my speedometer is acting up now that I did that, unfortunately. Uh, I had to tinker with that a little bit. Seems to be shifting about the same. So nothing really changed there. Hopefully, well, no, yeah, the speedometer just ain't going to work. Seems to be running fine. I know what RPMs I'm doing. 
so there's that. Now I'm back from the parts store, so we'll see if I can measure this out. I'm not sure how accurate it will be, but so it looks like transmission temps coming out of the transmission. Somewhere around there, give or take, give or take going back. Okay, I can handle that. All right, so I took the drive to the parts store, shipped it fine, did pretty good. Didn't really feel like it performed any better, but I also couldn't tell anything on the, train, uh, the speedometer, so I'm gonna have to tinker with that. Got home after driving down the highway of the parts store and back, and uh, Still needs about a pint of fluid. I'm gonna hold off on that until I fix that speedometer. Cause a pint off of a, a deep pan with a filter all the way down, it'll be all right. Uh, but it's looking pretty good. It's like, looks like a 90s. Uh, what's it feel like? Humidity of 50%. And not, right now it's 91, feels like, tell me, 96. So, I think that transmission's running pretty good for the, the temp it is outside. Pretty happy with that. Shift just fine. Didn't do much, but I still hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching.